was nice. They're getting it in. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is a record-breaking basketball player whose three-pointer shots ended this past season on a career high. Yes, and with accomplishments, accomplishments like multiple national championship wins and being titled an all-star, she, yes, she, Okay, then, let's so it's Women's Month. Is a force, a for, what is my talking doing today? It's fine. Is a force to be reckoned with. Please welcome down to the circle. Yes. WNBA point guard with Atlanta Dream, Renee Montgomery. Yay! Yes. Oh, we love it. You. Hey, Renee. Hey, hey, girl, oh, hey. hey. How you doing? Y'all are lit on this show. I yes. like this. Yes. Yes. I like the this. people have to know the energy is yes. real oh, here. Yes. 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 I'm feeling. Yes. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and you're in good hands because both of us love sports. Yeah. Yes. Uh, this one in particular time. is a basketball, uh, I mean, just a fanatic. A basketball life. Yes. Basketball yes. wife, <laughs> mother, all mom, of that. played basketball. So I, the whole it. time. A whole yeah. time. Yeah. Well, when did you it. know that basketball was going to be the sport that took you? Where actually that landed you right here on Sister Circle. I just, <laughs> and thank y'all. And thank y'all. Um, I would say probably 10. 10 is kind of where I... I started to see that I, w I could have some skills in it. I just knew I had a hard work ethic. So people kept on telling me, you got, you got a little bit of athleticism. And I'm like, I do. You know, when you're young, you take everything. Yeah. So I think 10 would probably be around the age where I started getting real serious about, like, I wanted to do this. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's good. <laughs> now, you went number four down to the draft. I did. Okay, for the Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> okay. you, went, you went four on the people. Yes. I went four. Four, which is a big deal. Yeah. Top 10 is a big you. deal. Thank so you. how did your life change? How do you think your life changed from just loving the sport to actually now becoming a celebrity mm -hmm. and being yeah. an athlete? I started making money. Yeah. 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 Yes. So I was doing it my whole life for free. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then all of a sudden I started making money and it was exciting because like I wanted to, so my parents and my sisters, we didn't have family vacations anymore. It was basically like we're going to AAU tournaments yeah. and exactly. support Renee. Mm -hmm. So it was nice to be able to like just do a couple of things for my family to just show them like thank you like I'm y'all I'm here for y'all because of y'all so yeah. that was like one of the most exciting things like when I started making some money. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Oh my son act white. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, you need yes. to pocket. Yeah. Yeah. Man, he, he was no joke. Let me tell you something. It's right. expensive. It's it is whole, very expensive. It's a whole student loan. Right. <laughs> exactly. It's a whole year tuition. As with many uh, WNBA and NBA players you know you, you, you switch teams a lot uh, and now you're with the Atlanta Atlanta Dream yes, here sir. in Atlanta. What's ATL been yeah. like for you and uh, the Atlanta Dream? I'm, I mean, it's crazy because Atlanta opened me with welcome arms, open arms because, like, even y'all having me here, it's kind of like everybody just, oh, okay, you play for the Dream, yeah. you know? Like, and so it's been good for me because it's a city I don't know anything about. Mm -hmm. So I'm coming from, a lot of times I was on the West. Mm -hmm. And so I'm finally back East, closer to home, which is West Virginia, but I live here now. Mm -hmm. Um, and everybody w welcomed me so much, and that Southern hospitality is real. It's very real. It's real. Yeah. It's real. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and you're still pretty young. I mean, you're only yeah. 32 years old. Yes, I am. But, like, I guess kind of midway, you almost, a couple, about three, four, five more years, yeah, yeah, you start yeah. looking towards retirement. Yeah. What do you think will be your next chapter? Are you, have you, have you started making any plans for retirement? So, it's crazy because it's a little bit taboo for athletes, you know, mm -hmm. like, everybody always thinks that we can't do multiple things at once. So, mm -hmm. last Last year I did a little test run and I started working on life after basketball mm -hmm. in private because I didn't want, I had to mute the conversation of I couldn't be focused. Right. So now that I'm doing it out loud in the open this year, well, I can say I was doing it last year, but what I really want to do is, shoot, shoot y'all are living my, my dream too. Yeah. I want to host. host somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all are living my dream. I want to host and I've been taking acting classes for about five or six months now, so I want to act and host and be like a trifecta. Yes. See how women do it? You yes. got to think forward. You be yes. real smart. Yes. So y'all need like, y'all's black girl magic that? and like make me part of the TV One family or something? <laughs> <laughs> You know, yeah. uh, uh, just a few questions ago, you mentioned money. When you started making money, everything making changed. Money, yeah. And, you know, currently currently, 28 players are suing um, the soccer federation. Oh, yeah. Mm. Um, let me get it right. The U.S. Women's National Soccer Team mm -hmm. yes. has filed a lawsuit because they want equal pay. What are your yeah. thoughts on that because of the disparity yeah, between the NBA, in the NBA and WNBA? Oh, it's a big disparity. And I always, I always try not to compare, like, the NBA to the WNBA. The, they're way older than we are. Um, but... I'm glad they're making their money. I just want to make some too. You yeah, know, I'm not saying somebody. like, oh, I should make as much money as him or I just want to make more money and we put as much effort and much work into our game. So we just want 
to make more money. So yeah. I don't, I'm not saying we need to make 220 million like like James Harden, LeBron are. I'm just saying, can we get a little bit more? Yeah. Can we just get what, a little bit more? What do you think is missing? If there was one thing that you could put your finger on that could help perpetuate more revenue for the WNBA, what do yeah. you think that would be? That's good. TV representation. Yes. Yes, that's it's, what we need. That, I mean, that when people see you on TV more, they recognize your face more than brands more want to get involved with you. It's all full circle. So when we only have X amount of games on TV, well, people don't know who I am or people don't right. know who this player is. So, of course, a brand's not going to want to invest money because yeah. they want somebody that is going to be seen in the spotlight. So mm -hmm. if we could get more TV representation, I think we could get more fans and we could right. get more money. Well, yeah. we've been knowing what you're doing, and Sporty Girls, Inc. is glad to have you yes. as our guest yes. speaker this Saturday yeah. at the Game oh. So really excited about giving back, for you giving back to my organization. But talk a little bit more about your philanthropic efforts. And Changemakers is sold out. Come on, our first well, morning. Well, you better do it. Oh, 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 okay, so oh, tell us about your foundation okay, as you're so sharing with mine. It's my baby. Yeah. Um, and that's why I think it's so cool because, like, you have a whole, like, yours is, like, a real deal, big thing. So and is I'm, yours. I'm, I'm, it's my baby. It just got born. Okay, so I just got my 501 C3, and I know that's a big deal for that company. Yeah, that's a big deal. Yeah. So it's so what I'm really trying to do um, is impact youth through mm -hmm. sports. Mm -hmm. And to impact youth, you also need to impact their families. So it's full circle. So I'm going to have a lot of different families come out to the games this season. I'm going to uh, have a bus come from West Virginia. I'm partnering with the Boys and Girls Club. Shout out to Tony Orr because okay. they're they're going to have people come in, pay USA. But I'm just trying to do a lot of things that just. Like introduce kids to sports in a fun way. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. I get it. Yeah, the same, and the same I'm in way. there on Sporty Girls Inc. I'm in there. Yes. Come on. Oh. This is how black women come up. Come, come on. on. Come come up. Up. Yeah. Yes. Why we don't work together? Uh, yes, we do. Yes. yes. And then there's that. And, then there's and thank you, Renee, so much thank for coming. Thank you so much us. for having you me. You can keep up with, with Renee Montgomery at the 21 on all social media platforms.